Imagine a raccoon with a weather machine, and that weather machine controls your ads, your news, and even your bank offers. That raccoon, that's AI, and it's watching you constantly. Welcome to your Idiot's Guide to Surviving AI Sentiment Analysis. So, what's AI Sentiment Analysis? It's when a computer scans your posts, texts, emails, even your emojis, and tries to guess your mood. Smiley face, you're happy. Crying emoji, sad. Four hot dog emojis in a row, confused, but probably hungry. Researchers have even trained AI to guess parts of your personality from how you write. And it's not just your computer. It's your phone, your social media, your Alexa, your smart fridge, your car. Basically, if it calls itself smart, that's code for I'm quietly taking notes. No, your toaster's not plotting against you yet, but it does know how often you eat Pop-Tarts. The problem? AI isn't smart smart. It's more like that meddling ant who catches half your conversation and then retells it to the whole family. Completely wrong, but with absolute confidence. You say, I adopted a cat. They hear, I'm joining the circus. And suddenly everyone's texting you about clown college. These guesses are then used to decide things for you. What ads you see? What news pops up? So yeah, true story. If it decides you're a Bob Dylan fan, suddenly every news article about Dylan is the first thing in your feed. Every day. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's also not a good thing either. Luckily, you can mess with it. Here's how. Mood jamming. Mix your vibes. Post a happy dance video with the caption, Existential Dread. Let it short circuit. Emoji chaos. Use emojis that don't match your text. So tired. Pizza devil cat emoji. Good luck, algorithm. Friend pranks. Coordinate with friends. Everyone posts I love staplers at the same time. Watch the machine panic. The goal isn't to hide from it. It's to make your data so weird it's useless. So... AI sentiment analysis is basically a raccoon in a suit guessing your feelings and selling those guesses to the highest bidder. You can't stop it from watching. Not unless you move to the woods, live off the grid, stop talking to people, grow a suspiciously long beard, and accidentally become the town's Bigfoot. But you can make sure it walks away more confused than you are. Want the full survival guide? Head to thecultofbrighterdays.org before the raccoon decides you're in the market for three jet skis and a haunted blender. And hey, while you're here, check out our other shorts, maybe even hit like or subscribe. AI is watching, so our fate, totally in your hands, no big deal.